These two laptops are the best selling budget gaming laptops. Why and which one should you choose? We reviewed both laptops in the last months and we love them both. But which one should you choose between these two because their price is almost the same and also the specs. Let's start with the body and chassis design. In terms of build quality, I can give them good point because they almost have the same build quality. But uh, when you work with them, uh, you can feel that TOF has better build quality, especially when you open and close the lid. Why? Because ASUS has made a better hinge for ASUS TOF rather than the hinge on the Lenovo look. As you can see, there is so much wobble on the Lenovo look and there is a little wobble on the ASUS stuff. Even on the ASUS TOF F15, we have less wobble because the 2024 model F16 has a bigger screen so it is heavier and it is a little wobblier than the last generation. But uh, the Lenovo look has a wobbly screen and uh, there is a problem with the build quality here on the Lenovo look. So, uh, we should give one score to ASUS stuff for this section. About the keyboard, I can say ASUS stuff has one of the best keyboards in the market and I like the keyboard here. It has a full size keyboard, it has a single zone RGB, it has numpad, it has uh, dedicated arrow keys, dedicated uh, volume keys, uh, mic switch and armory crate button. Uh, but Lenovo Look has one of the best keyboards out there. It is one of the best keyboards I've ever seen in any laptop. So I can give this score to Lenovo Look because the keyboard is just good. And uh, I should note that most Lenovo Look models doesn't support RGB, even single zone RGB. And if you want to buy a Lenovo Look, I think you're gonna buy a model without RGB. But if you can config or buy it directly from Lenovo website, I think you can customize your laptop to have a RGB on the keyboard. But overall, the keyboard on the Lenovo Look is just amazing. As for the trackpad, uh, it is in reverse. Why? Because ASUS stuff has one of the best trackpads in mid-range gaming laptops, but Lenovo Look doesn't have it, and the trackpad in Lenovo Look is just not well positioned, it's not good, it's not accurate, and I don't like this trackpad at all. But the trackpad on the ASUS stuff is a lot better, so we will give the trackpad a score to ASUS stuff. Let's talk about ports. Uh, the port selection on the both laptops are good. We have four USB ports. We have uh, one HDMI 2.1 in each laptop, uh, one RJ45 for network connectivity, which is good. Uh, we have charging ports. Uh, Lenovo Look supports uh, 230 watts charger. ASUS stuff supports 240 watts charger. And uh, they both have dedicated uh, charging ports. And also the, the audio combo jack on the both machines supports good audio quality which is good and i can say uh, they like the same but there is a huge difference in usb port selection the usb port on the lenovo look only has one type c port which is 10 gigabits per second and supports 140 watts usb type c charging but the other usbs are just type a usb however on the asus of f16 we got two USB Type-C ports. One of them is 10 gigabits per second and the other one supports Thunderbolt 4 up to 40 gigabits per second speed, which is amazing and which is great. The other two USB ports supports only 5 gigabits per second, which is okay. But anyway, um, I should give this score to ASUS stuff because it supports not only two USB Type-C, but one Thunderbolt 4 port. And about the port position, um, the position of ports on the ASUS stuff is not ideal. Why? Because uh, they put all of the ports on the left side and we have only one USB port on the right. Uh, however, on the Lenovo look, we got most of the ports on the back, which is good. And I like it because uh, the HDMI port, the RJ45 port are just too big for my desk and I like them to be on the back of my device not in the middle of my hand so um, I can give one score to Lenovo look for this one let's talk about display unfortunately our look only has 15 inch screen but it has other model with 16 inch screen which is good 
Both devices has two variant displays. Both of them supports FHD Plus at 165Hz display. And the other variant is a 2.5K 165Hz screen, which is good. It means uh, they are almost like each other, but the brightness on the Lenovo Look is a little bit higher. As for the screen, they both support 100% of sRGB and almost 70% of Adobe RGB, which is good. Uh, it means you can uh, edit your videos, your uh, photos on any of these devices without any problem but uh, 300 nits is not enough to work on the direct sunlight so if you want to work with your laptop outside i can't recommend these two displays at all i can recommend you to buy a better version with a better display like a 2.5k display as for the scores i think uh, the screens are just like the same and i gotta say it's a tie in the performance section things will get interesting both laptops has the same cpu and gpu but asus has more wattage both in terms of using and charging it has 240 watts charger instead of 230 watts and uh, because of that we will see a little uh, performance differences in both laptops both laptops has intel core i7 13650HX processor is a 14 core CPU uh, alongside NVIDIA RTX 4060 but ASUS has more wattage for the 4060 with 130 watts instead of 150 on the Lenovo look and um, there is no much difference between these laptops in the GPU performance side but um, ASUS has more wattage to spare for the GPU so let's talk about benchmarks on the asus stuff uh, and lenovo look we tested cinebench r23 and uh, we got better results as you can see on the screen on the asus stuff there is about uh, five percent to ten percent uh, score differences uh, in cinebench r23 uh, this test can show us how well the cpu can perform in any device so asus stuff can perform better in the cpu side in cinebench 2024 we tested uh, cpu and the gpu GPU. and in both tests asus stuff has beaten the lenovo look in cpu and the gpu it was a little predictable for me because asus stuff has more wattage to spare we can see again there is a five percent to ten percent score differences between these two models but i can say they both performed well there is nothing wrong with the lenovo look uh, there is a just uh, some wattage differences and also a little price differences like 50 to 100 bucks price differences because asus stuff is a little more expensive than lenovo look as for the geekbench i can say uh, geekbench is just a, a messy or complicated test uh, but as you can see on the screen lenovo look performed a little better on the geekbench 6. we also tested time spy in both machines and it is interesting because uh, lenovo laptops are uh, usually better performers in the gpu side and we can see that with lower wattage lenovo look performed better in the gpu performance side and in time spy we got uh, almost uh, 10 percent to 15 percent better performance and better results in lenovo look in comparison to asus stuff for this section i can give the score to asus stuff it performed better in almost any benchmarks and let's talk about content creation workloads in this section we tested adobe premiere in both laptops um in asus stuff we got around four minutes and 41 seconds of render time but in the lenovo look we got four minutes and 50 seconds i should note something here the ssd that lenovo puts in the look is a little uh, almost a little uh, <laughs> weaker than asus stuff and we didn't change the ssd because it is the package they sent to customers so if you want to buy a lenovo look just upgrade the ssd it will give you more performance especially in content creation workloads which is good we also tested adobe after effects in both machines and asus stuff again performed better uh, with 4 minutes and 22 seconds of render time but lenovo look performed a lot worse especially because of the ssd uh, with 5 minutes and 16 seconds in this section um, <laughs> it is obvious we should give the score to asus stuff so what about games uh, we tested cyberpunk 2077 rainbow six siege valorant and apex legends and the shadow of the tomb raider uh, in both machines and uh, we got 
interesting results in cyberpunk 2077 as you can see on the screen we tested both laptops in ray tracing ultra ray tracing ultra plus frame generation presets ultra preset with fsr we have one uh, customized preset with ray tracing ultra preset without any help from dlss and fsr to see how well it can perform in raw performance and the results are interesting because uh, as you can see on the screen asus tough and lenovo look are just like it's like a tie to themselves but uh, lenovo look performed around uh, three to four percent better in the cyberpunk almost and it is interesting to see uh, but in the rainbow six siege uh, which is a cpu and gpu heavy game uh, things are a little out of hand why because asus tough performed a lot better especially in minimum frame rates and as you can see on the screen asus stuff is the winner here we also tested valorant in both machines uh, valorant is a cpu heavy game and asus performed better in our benchmarks in the cpu so asus stuff again has the better performance because valorant is a cpu heavy game in apex legends uh, we tested both laptops in one match uh, to be accurate as much as possible and as you can see on the screen again apex legends is a gpu heavy game but this time asus performed a lot better by a lot better i mean uh, more than 40 fps more it is huge it's around 20 percent better performance in apex legends uh, which is just insane and i think if you want to play a lot of games on your laptop you should just go and buy asus stuff for the shadow of the tomb raider the uh, performance was just a tie so they're just like each other for the game test i think we should give the score uh, directly to asus stuff because it performed a lot better around 10 to 15 percent better compared to lenovo look for the speaker i should say lenovo look just has speakers they are not loud they don't have bass they have nothing but asus stuff has a decently good speaker but anyway I should suggest you to buy a uh, just a compact speaker on your bag because they are both not that good. So this is the webcam quality of Asus Top F16 and Lenovo Nook 2024. What do you think about it? Do you like it? Which one do you like it most? I think Lenovo Nook has better quality because it has 1080p webcam and Asus Top has 720p. What do you think about the mic quality? Tell us in the comments below. I can say webcam is better on Lenovo look. For battery life, um, the winner is Asus stuff. Why? Because it has more battery capacity. It has more battery life around one hour to one hour and a half better battery life in our tests. And the winner is Asus stuff. It has 90 watt hour battery. But anyway, they don't have good battery life because six hours is not enough on the asus stuff and four to five hours is not enough for lenovo look in conclusion i can say both laptops are great and i didn't find anything wrong, wrong with them but if you want to buy and you can't decide which one is suitable for you i think asus stuff is a way to go and this is the laptop you should buy but if you can't spend uh, the more expensive price around $100 more for the ASUS stuff you can go with Lenovo look but both laptops are great and you're not gonna regret buying any of this laptop at all uh, there is one concern uh, people have on the internet for Lenovo look I asked some uh, stores and some repair shops about the Lenovo look motherboard problems but there is nothing to say about it because uh, in my research there was nothing wrong with it but uh, some people have uh, reported their motherboard on Lenovo Look 2024 has some problems so I should have said that which one do you pick Asus stuff or Lenovo Look tell us in the comments below and if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe